TJ the Black T back with another review video. Um, this is something pretty different. I mean, not really different, but it's something that hasn't happened in quite a long time. Uh, haven't bought a an Air Jordan in probably a little over a year now. Uh, the last pair I copped was the Bel Air Fives. And I believe that came out in, what, 2014, I think, the end of 2014, like October, November 2014. So it has been quite a while. We are now in October 2015. So I think it's been about a year. You know, what can I say? Jordan, the Jordan releases haven't been impressing me. Um, either, either a pair that I've wanted, you know, it came out and they didn't do it right in my opinion you know wasn't happy with it like the great toe 13s they switched it up wasn't too happy with it left it um the black toe 14s same thing they switched it up a little bit didn't like it um you know or you know it was a really hyped release and you know just wasn't worth in my opinion i liked it but it wasn't worth the resale value in my opinion so, you know, Shattered Backboards, Air Jordan, uh, Jeter Air Jordan 1s, um, you know, a, cu a couple things here and there. But, got an Air Jordan uh, 1, first purchase in over a year from Jordan brand. Um, now, going towards the, um, the end of the year, I there are a couple on my radar right now. I got the um, 3 times the Charm, Air Jordan 8, which... Originally is on my radar, but I think I might just kick it off simply because I heard that the quality is pretty bad. I heard that the leather, the white leather that they use, I've heard it compared to plastic. That's how bad it was. I've heard that the leather has a plastic feel and doesn't even feel like leather. So that's a wait and see. Once I come out, I'll see how it is for myself and I'll judge. But, um,. So let's say that's off the off my radar. I got the Air Jordan Seven, nothing but nets, uh, Aqua Eights, Chrome Eights, you know, a couple things on the radar. But you know, get to the review already, right? So you got your Air Jordan One High. First time seeing in hand the uh, new Jordan box. Yes, that's how long it's been. I have not seen this in hand. Uh, you got your you know all black. With your gold jump man. Oh, oops. 23 in the little gold. And then you got your jump man in the back with gold. Got your white tissue paper with your little gold 23s on it. And here they are the Air Jordan 1 High. Russell Westbrook. This is the PE that they did. Uh, Jordan Brand released PEs, uh, player editions, for um, all of their Jordan athletes, their signed athletes. Um, they got Carmelo, they did one for Carmelo, they did one for Jeter. Um, well, Jeter was kind of was like a ceremonial type, you know, last season thing, and that kind of branched off into doing peas for all everyone else. Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, Carmelo Anthony all got their version of an Air Jordan 1, you know, different colorways and then they had their you know their logo on the tongue instead of the jump man. But I got the Russell Westbrook colorway. Um, there's just something about it that I really did like. Um, Jordans generally don't pop like the Jordans generally use like more darker monotone colors and they don't stand out which I think that's one of the cool things about them but at the same time I like sneakers that pop um, you know that's my Katie's Carmelo my uh, Carmelo's my Katie's my Kobe's my LeBron's I generally gravitate more towards brighter colors um, but you know every once in a while I do appreciate a bright Jordan and this is this was it for me you got your teal new buck upper. You got your infrared 23 
leather here as well as the back hair. You got your Air Jordan winged logo done in that teal color. You have your black Nike check. Yeah, this is yeah, black Nike swoosh on the exterior and interior of the shoe in black. You have teal laces, nothing special with the tips. And then you have a kind of like a woven mesh type, like the same the same that's on the collar. You have kind of like a woven mesh. And that goes on the tongue with your RW Russell Westbrook logo. The back is infrared with the infrared jump man. So it's infrared on infrared. You can still see the jump man there. Got your white midsole and the outsole is all infrared 23. That's the official colorway, the infrared 23. Um, I don't really know what the difference between infrared and infrared 23 is. Um, that's, you know, I don't really know the difference. But they're saying infrared 23, so I say infrared 23. I picked these up in my um, kind of like a mom and pop shop. That was just that was around my neighborhood. Um, these retailed for 130 plus tax, so New York State tax. These was about 8.8 point so, something. So you're looking at probably about uh, 135. No, it's 130. Never mind. It's 130 retail. And you're looking at about 145 or so. 140, 140, around there. Looking at about 140 um, for these. Um, these have been sitting. These came out, I believe, in the beginning of March, maybe April. Yeah, these were manufactured towards the end of 2014. So these probably came out early 2015, so they've been sitting for quite a few months. Um, most places still had them for retail though. I think Foot Locker and everything had them either full price or only knocked down to like 115 or so. I still felt that was too high. I like these, but as a sneakerhead, when you can save a buck, when you can save a few dollars, you save it because you know plenty there are plenty other releases that are going to be coming save you money on some releases because other releases you might have to shell out more than retail so you know that's how it is in the sneaker world so that's what i was doing i was trying i was being patient and trying to save a couple bucks because i know eventually somewhere down the line <laughs> air jordan 11 uh, i will have to shell out that extra dollars most likely so um, these retailed for 130, 140 after tax. Pick these up for 100 flat. So I was happy with that. Um, eBay was, you know, the prices were pretty much about 100. Um, so uh, actually a little bit more, a little between 100 and 115. But with eBay, I'm pretty skeptical about doing purchases off eBay. So you know, I kind of I try to avoid eBay as much as possible unless it's such a steal and I feel comfortable enough with the seller like they have high enough ratings um, that I will you know go for it but rather in-store pick up so I got these for a hundred flat um, and the, what I love the most is don't you just love when you open the box and like the tissue paper is all nice and crisp because no one has tried them on yet that's what I love and these were it you know the, the tissue paper was folded over all nicely the laces were still you know laced up from you know factory laced and everything so you know no one has put their foot in these yet and i can't wait to rock them so stay tuned for the on full look follow me on twitter facebook instagram snups tumblr i'm everywhere um so stay tuned for the on full look plenty of review videos collection videos discussion topics it's all coming in um, and now that the um now that the end of the year is coming and all these great releases are popping up, I will have plenty of review, di review videos coming. I got a Nike ID in the works and Air Hirachi. I got that, you know, in my head I'm, you know, going through things, mentally planning out. So that's in the, that's in the working stages and I do have quite a few pairs that are, you know, 
on my radar and most likely will get picked up. So, without further ado, the on foot look is coming up next. Catch it. Until next time, TJ the Black T is out. TJ the Black T back with the on foot look of the Russell Westbrook PE Air Jordan 1. With their Jordan 1s, do stay true to size. Um, really clean shoe. You can probably find these, as I said before, probably on online for pretty cheap. eBay, probably about 100 115 or so. Um, definitely would recommend picking these up. It's a clean pair. And, um, you know, over, overlooked and slept on. So you can probably find these for a good deal. Clean pair for a good deal something you just can't pass up nowadays no hassle easy pickup so until next time TJ the black tea is out